A mother's worst nightmare. That is how the heartbroken mom of a fallen soldier describes losing her son overseas. Sergeant Cade Wolf from Mankato was among the five special ops soldiers killed in a tragic training accident this weekend. New tonight, his mother shares her hope that they can bring that hero home. Here's our Kirsten Mitchell. Chaplain and a sergeant in full dress uniform, they show up. And your heart just drops because you know that something's Wrong. It was the news Julia Molden feared most. Her son, Sergeant Cade Wolf, would not be coming home. As a parent of a military children, I know the dangers, but I also know what they need to do and the importance of this. Cade was among five U.S. Army Special Operations soldiers killed during a training exercise in a chopper like this over the Mediterranean Sea. He was a son, brother, and husband, following in both his parents' footsteps by serving our country. He loved it. He loved it. That was what he always wanted to do as a child, straight from junior high through high school. He always knew he would join the Army. Wanted to be with the best and and be the best, and that's what he did. It was that passion and drive that left an impression on Kate's former teachers in Mankato. We talk a lot about teachers inspiring us. We are constantly inspired by our students every single day, and Kate is one of those students that he inspired so many students and teachers alike, and I think that's that's probably part of his legacy. Governor Tim Walls ordered flags flown at half staff to honor Sergeant Wolf for his dedicated service to and sacrifice for his country. The hardest part is the unknown. You know, I hope they find Cade so we can have a proper burial for him and some closure. Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. Cade turned 24 years old last week. He enlisted in 2018 right out of high school. Cade was awarded two Army Commendation Medals and an Army Achievement Medal.